Um, we set up to run a few parts. We're starting with a 57 millimeter part. This is the parameters I currently have set. It's a little bit wider than what we ran originally, which will give us less false rejects and still uh, catch most of the regular defects, real defects. So let's uh, we'll go ahead and start that. Uh, we have a few, uh, a few defects mixed in. Most of the red ones are kind of bent. And we may miss uh, one or two occasionally on those, so let's see how that goes here. about 2100 pieces per minute. Might be a little fast, but it can at least do that. So uh, this two of the, you know, somewhat bent ones. It depends on how they're landing. If we run those two again, it'll probably catch it. Uh, those ran at about 93%, 92.8 with the rejects. Let's clear that. millimeter 3.8 millimeter diameter with a 3.3 di diameter mixed in and it's still running Uh, 1600 pieces per minute, probably more like 2000 or more. About 94% pass with quite a few real defects. Some of them are borderline, it'll miss a couple of these occasionally.
reject rate and had more real rejects mixed in. Normally those run around 93%. Percent. Rejects on the bottom. I have a separate program that we have to open. And it's just, it, it just makes it easier. If you're going to lard, normally I had a limit of 88 millimeters. If you wanted to run something bigger, I made the program different to handle a larger part. But it's not good to run that same program for smaller parts. So, let's select the nine, let's see, I guess I have nine. Red deep packs mixed in. Thank <laughs> you. 
36 rejects of 205. Actually, that's not too bad. Probably had quite a few extra rejects. So we got one, one red on the miss. Yeah, it might be a, just slightly bent. Kind of low. 